Hello everyone. Recently I did a video on my little mobile router table here and one of my YouTube subscribers asked me how I cut the hole for this router plate insert. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I cut that hole. Now there's a few things you're going to need to do this. First thing of course is a router plate. Now, this is the correct precision plate and this is a great plate. It's not very expensive and it can be bought with hole patterns to fit almost any router. Now I'm going to be cutting the hole in a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood. Now you're also going to need a router with a special bit. This is a flush trim bit with a bearing at the bottom. It's used for template routing. Now basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be cutting a rabbit for our plate to sit down on. Now my plate is a quarter of an inch and I want this to rabbit to be a little bit deeper than the plate so the plate will sit down just a little bit so I can bring it back up with screws. So my plate's a quarter of an inch I'm going to make my rabbit 5 sixteenths deep. Now in order to set the depth of my router bit I've made a mark on my plywood here down 5 sixteenths of an inch because that's how deep I want my rabbit to be. And now I take my template material which is a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood with a piece of quarter inch on top of it and I set it up there along with my router and I'm just going to eyeball here the bottom of my bit down to that 5 16 inch mark. Now the reason for this template material here is because I have to raise my router up enough so that my bearing has something to register against because I have to have enough meat in here to elevate my, my bit. Alright now the next thing to do is to cut out your template material. Now as I stated earlier my template material is made out of 3 quarter inch plywood with a piece of quarter inch plywood on top. Now this may vary according to whatever bit you're using. Now you take your plate, set it on your tabletop and you just push your template pieces into place. You can check for fit by just wiggling your router plate making sure that it fits well. Now, I like just a little bit of play on mine. Then next you're just going to take it, turn your pieces over and apply double sided tape to the bottom and just carefully stick them down everywhere around the plate and that's going to make your template. And you want to do that to all four of these pieces. Once you have all these down good, you just route it out. Now I've got that done, I'm just going to take my jigsaw and run around the edge here making sure that I leave my lip for the plate to sit on. See how she fits. <clears throat> oh yeah. The next thing to do is in all four corners you want to pre-drill for a little bolt that you can put in the corners as a leveler. So you can level the top of the plate flush with the top of the table. Now once you get your screws in all four corners all you do is adjust them to where your plate is level with the top, mount your router and you're ready to go. Well, I'd like to thank y'all for watching my video. If y'all want to see some more of my videos, you can go to my YouTube channel, Salient and Such, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.